Alright okay guys, come to uh, decide I'm going to repaint the bow tie on the truck here. Um, it's white, it's just got a bunch of rock chips in it and it's been a long time since it's been done. So uh, I think what I'm going to do with it is I'm just going to go white, but like the SS bow ties, I'm going to do a black uh, border around it. So uh, I just thought I'd make a quick video on how to take the grill off. A 88 through 98 GM truck. This might apply more to 95 to 98s because of the different grill style, uh, but I'm not so sure. So anyway, the first thing you want to go do, obviously, is get you a Phillips head screwdriver and take out all the screws, all four screws on each of your lower parking lights there. And while you get those taken out, you can be able just to pop the parking lights out like so. Minor LEDs, but regular halogen bulb ones will do the same thing. What you do is you just pop out the, uh, for bulbs, if you pop the bulbs out for me, it's just pop the little ballots out of the lights there. And your, uh, that's why it's not coming off, I forgot to screw. Your lenses will just come right on out. You gotta do this because there is, I'll show you here, it's hard to screwdriver or something when you have another hand full. Alright, get that other screw out. And the reason you have to take these out is because you have to get to, you probably can't see it, but you gotta get to the bolt right inside here and one right inside there they're really a pain to get into but you have to get into those to uh, get the grill off you go over here and grab a flashlight real quick I can show you a little bit better anyhow there's a bolt right there where the light is you can see that and uh, over here on this side, I've got a bolt right on that side and right over there, just like the other side. Also, next the next step here is you want to get you a socket driver, like so. Because you have some bolts that have to come up on top. One, two, three four bolts on top that you want to uh, get off so you can take your grill off and of course I can't pick a socket that's the right size the first time so uh, yeah, once you get your socket picked out obviously you go ahead and uh, put it on your driver and just take those off so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll see you when I get those out alright got all the bolts out of my uh, grill here and into my magnetic catch them uh, container and after you do that of course you want to disconnect your uh, well, remover bulbs from your lenses on your corner so you don't rip those out and you should be able just to pull it off like I have here uh, these grills are kind of a pain to uh, get off so I only really do it when I need to I didn't disconnect my uh, lights completely because they're really Kind of a pain to get, you know, disconnected because there's a lot of sockets and wiring on the LEDs that I didn't want to fully disconnect. So as I'm making a whole lot of noise here, we are going to go ahead and you want to make sure to get the black or the bottom plastic part fully. Uh, take that out from underneath the bumper. It makes a lot of noise. You sound like you're tearing it up, but you're not tearing it up. Sorry for the terrible camera footage, and I just killed that light right there. But in the end, all is good, and then you have your grill taken off after all that noise and all that trouble. And probably scratched the hell out of those lights, but. There it is with the grill off. 
the headlights stay put. Um, so there it is. You guys get to take a look at my new condenser that I put on last year. But just to get the bow tie out, that's what you have to do. Well, at least that's what I have to do because I've got the billet insert there. See, you come to the back of the grill here and uh, bow tie is bolted on right there. Same for the corner lenses. You, it's easier. You can take it off, take them off without removing the grill, but it's just a lot easier to mess with them. But yeah, there's a little mini tutorial with terrible camera angles about taking the grill off. Um, I'll get back to you guys after I get the bow tie painted up how I want it. I'm not sure if I'm just going to go ahead and do, uh, I've got Plasti Dip, black Plasti Dip, and I really like the way it looks when you spray it on and when it dries up. If you guys never heard of it, it's this stuff here. You can get it as a spray or you can get it as a brush on. But the stuff works good. You just paint it, no sanding, you just spray it on there and and let it come out how it does and there you go but we'll see I'll get back with you guys after uh, after I get that done and get everything put back together and uh, of course I gotta edit the video here put all these little videos into one so I'll get back with you guys so until then alright guys went ahead and let the paint dry or actually the plasti dip dry overnight I decided to go ahead and go that route and just use the uh, black Plasti Dip to uh, achieve the look I was going for. This stuff right here, just in a black spray can, just like spray paint. Um, if, first, I tried to mask off the bow tie and do something a little cool with it, but it didn't work with the Plasti Dip, so I just went ahead and went with the black on it. The white paint's still underneath. With Plasti Dip, we have no sanding required, so uh, that's what's cool about it. You could really basically paint anything you want and uh, peel it right back off. So I've got the grill back on, and uh, same method as uh, taking it off. Put the bolts, you know, just line it up, push it in, get everything. You know, all snapped down like it's supposed to. There's little clips that go in there that you have to get pressed down, then bolt it down again. There you go. Put you back on. Also did some detailing in the uh, under the hood compartment here. Got everything all armor all. It was real dirty. And uh, also for the people that think that I have no headers. I do have headers. For some reason I get a lot of people saying, you should put headers on there, you should put headers on there. Well, just because I haven't really gotten a decent exhaust clip, I guess they think that I don't have headers, but I don't know if you can see the name on that. They are JBA Cat Forward headers. Look them up on Summit for the 5.7 uh, 350 Vortec. They aren't cheap headers. You know, they're not the loudest headers, I, you know, ever. But they give it the sound that I like. It sounds, you know, semi-loud. Uh, semi-loud when it's idling. Then when you really step on it, it gets really loud. So, yeah, for those of you who think I don't have any headers on it, there they are. Right down there. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. And, uh... Uh, I'm going to get back with you later with a video. As soon as it stops raining and storming outside, I'm going to get a video on uh, the biggest update, which happened a few weeks ago, to the truck. So, I'll see you all then.